Okay, what we're looking at here is the Ink Cloud Touch from Telus, and also be launched on Kudo. Comes in white, and this will be launching soon. We're going to take a quick rundown of this new Android with a whack load of Facebook integration. So let's take us through this. All right, so let's start on the back. Got a, uh, I believe it's a five megapixel camera on the back of the device uh, with the, the speaker uh, port on the back here as well. On the side, you got an info key and I'll show you what that does later. A uh, volume rocker on the side and then a, a dedicated media key uh, on the other side of the device. So um, 3.5 millimeter headset jack with the standard uh, micro USB charger. So let's uh, let's get right into things here. So it has a 1300 milliamp battery too. That's correct. Um, so Ink's done a fantastic job of uh, of making uh, Android really fun, really easy to use. So if we look at even simple things like the unlock screen, um, it's actually just a, a, a lock button that you push over the membrane, and the, the device actually vibrates while you're doing that. So it's just it's fancy, it's neat. Um, so you can go like that, unlock the device. If you want to do things a little bit differently. Uh, nice thing as well is so I can go directly into the camera if I want or directly into universal search So let's unlock the device and get right into things so right on your home screen. You got your news feed so it uses um, Facebook social graph so it looks at uh, What news news feeds and what posts are important to you from the people that are important to you? So uh, if we just scroll through my news feed here, it's I mean it's automatically got this uh, got this loaded for me um, so it's fantastic when I'm on the subway. So for example, I want to uh, go on the subway, see what my friends have been doing all day. It, this works on offline mode as well. I can scan through uh, all my different Facebook posts, which is fantastic. That's pretty cool. Uh, another part of uh, that Facebook uh, social sauce, let's call it, is uh, the people <laughs> widget. So it automatically okay. brings up, so this is pre-configured. So I don't have to actually, I can if I want, modify the people on this, um, but it's actually determined my top friends and it's gone through and it's picked uh, the people that are most important to me and cool. uh, and I can go and see what uh, my girlfriend Mel is doing today. So Awesome. Dedicated uh, ink button down here is basically your, your home screen. Okay. Uh, another fantastic feature obviously is the notifications bar. You see who's, uh, who's tagged you in photos, who's done all that from one touch, right? Yeah, so, so everything's incredibly easy to navigate through. The easiest Facebook device uh, I've used before. So, I mean, definitely geared toward a Facebook uh, intensive user. Pictures are, are loaded just at the bottom here, very clean and crisp. Um, obviously, places, checking in is becoming a, a new phenomenon, uh, so that's super important to do as well. Kicks in your GPS when it needs to, turns it off when, it, when you don't need it. Um, another fantastic feature is on the info key here. Um, so it brings up all the things that are important to you as well from a de device perspective. Oh, it tells you your battery life, how much space you have remaining, Wi-Fi, exactly. your so, alarms. So one touch Wi-Fi on, uh, one touch Bluetooth on, one touch airplane mode if you need it. So um, Wi-Fi doesn't turn on automatically? So it's got something called a smart Wi-Fi. Yeah. So what happens is it, uh, it notifies you when there's a Wi-Fi network available. Okay. Okay. Um, so, for example, okay. I, can, I can be coming into the library and it'll say, hey, there's a Wi-Fi network. Do you want to connect to that and, and save right. some time? What's on the bottom there? Um, on the bottom of the info key. Right. So these are, um, so basically a vibrate, uh, a one-touch silent okay. airplane mode, Bluetooth and GPS. Very cool. All right. So it obviously comes with, uh, I mean, the standard standard uh, Android uh, applications. It's fantastic for Google na Google navigation, so voice navigation um, prevents you from having it to, to actually touch the device, touch the device, enter an address or anything like that. Um, it's got Facebook chat actually, which is super important to talk about as well. Um, so Facebook chat integrated directly on your device. So I can go in there cool. and, and, and look at which one of my friends are online. So. Um, so you say this is the best Facebook integration you've, you've ever used on a phone? That's correct. Yeah, it's, it's, it's completely it's, embedded, right? It's almost, uh, I mean, for the user that, that likes the physical appearance of the device and, and they don't want Facebook, obviously you can get rid of these things, right? You can get rid of the widgets, click and drag them down to the garbage. Um, but it's almost uh, it's almost tough not to use Facebook on a device like this. Right, right. And it's low cost, I think like a couple hundred bucks or something like that? Yeah, I think uh, month to month price right now, I believe, is, uh, is 200 bucks. Uh, I could be wrong. 
um, but it's uh, it's very very well priced. Great. Feels good in the hand too. Yeah, it's got how a very the smooth. Uh, fantastic. I've actually used it for some conference calls. Um, it's. Uh, I guess it's, we can't really hear it, but. Yeah, we can't hear it here, but it's see how that was one touch right onto uh, right, right onto our YouTube uh, YouTube page. All right. So pretty it's, cool. Uh, works very well. And size size of screen? What is that? Three point five. Pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot.